Welcome to this first introduction to the Old Testament. And in this video I'm going to be very, very general. And the first thing I want to tell you about the Old Testament is that it's written in two languages. It's written in both Hebrew and a few chapters in Ezra and Daniel are written in Aramaic. And both languages, Hebrew and Aramaic, are, are very, very similar. It's a bit like Dutch and German, or if, if you're not very familiar with those languages, you, you can also compare it to the way Spanish and Portuguese are very, very similar. The second thing I want to discuss is the types of literature that can be found within the Bible, or within the Old Testament to be more specific. First of all, there are lots of historical writings. For example, they describe the national history, they describe some autobiography or biography in general, and they also tell about family histories. The second type of literature we may encounter in the Old Testament is laws, judicial writings. And just for the sake of convenience, I'm going to distinguish between three types of laws. First of all, the cult there are cultic laws. They deal with the uh, service in the temple or the tabernacle. And they also deal with questions like, what, what sort of animals can we eat? So we, we encounter this wild animal, we, we encounter this animal in the wild, and we ask ourselves, can we eat this? Is this food? Next we go to the second type of laws. They can be described as ethical laws. For example, you encounter a mean man, he's, he's very angry and he's shaking his fist at you, and he's looking very angry, and you wonder, hey, I hate this man, can I kill him? And then there are ethical, law, ethical laws that say, no, you can't. And finally, there are civil laws. And civil laws are very specific for what a nation should do, or how a nation should deal with people who break either of these two laws. So we go back to our, to our angry man, and we bury an axe in his head, and, well, now he's dead. And then, of course, the question rises, what shall we do with the killer? And civil laws provide answers for those types of questions. The next type of literature I want to discuss briefly is poetry and wisdom literature. And this, this occurs in many, many forms. For example, there are songs and laments, there are sayings and expressions, and yes, there even is erotic poetry. And there are also blessings and curses. And finally, there are prophetic books. And prophetic books, of course, contain prophecies, but they also contain warnings and sermons, promises and even apocalypses. The next topic of this introduction will be time. And first of all, I want to discuss the time span that is described in the Bible. And the time span that the Bible describes, or at least claims to describe, if you want to be a bit more critical, it would start at about 4000 BC and it would go all the way until about 400 BC. And I like to pick round numbers, so I can be off a few decades at least, but 4000 to 400 BC sounded like a nice time period. The next time period I want to discuss is the time period of scribal activity. That is the time in which the Bible was written. I'm going to give you two estimates for this time period. First, a more conservative one. They would estimate that the first parts of the Old Testament were written at about 1400 BC and that it was finished at about 350 BC. More critical scholars would date this period a bit later, namely from 1000 to 100 BC. And again, this is about right. I picked round numbers. Finally, I want to give an impression of how many different people have contributed to the Old Testament, or how many scribes participated in its formation. This number is at least 25, however this is an absurdly low number. A more realistic estimate would be that it's more than 40 different people. And depending on how you count and how critical you are, you can get easily to 50 to 100 different people who participated, and perhaps even more. That's the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.